Hey friends, welcome back for another Crocktober video. So today I am sharing a Thai soup that's called Tom Kha Gai. I love this soup. It is my go-to anytime we go eat Thai food, which sadly is not that often. I wish it was more frequent, but my kids don't really care for Thai soup, so or Thai food, so we don't get to go very often. And the other day, when we came home from vacation, my husband and I both came down with colds, just a cold, but we're both feeling yucky, you know, sore throats, runny, stuffy noses, that sort of thing. And I'm laying in bed just feeling miserable, and all I can think of is how much I want this soup. In my head, it's just going to make my throat feel so much better. It's just going to be the miracle cure for me. So I did realize that I had seen a slow cooker version of it, so I hopped back on Pinterest, and here we are. I'm trying it. Now, I've made this before on the stovetop, and I will say that this recipe just transferred over the stovetop, and it would work exactly the same. But this does make it a little easier, because you can kind of let things go and forget about them in the slow cooker for a while. So I started off by slicing up about eight ounces of baby bell and mushrooms. Um, traditionally, they use different kinds of mushrooms in their Thai soup. Um, you could use like just plain regular white mushrooms or baby bellas or whatever you choose. I, I kind of think whatever your preference is is fine. I just like the baby bellas. I think they have a great flavor. And then I sliced up half of an onion. Don't worry about getting like exact slices on it or anything. We're using this to steep a broth. So we're going to be fishing the garlic and the onion and stuff out later. The mushrooms we'll leave in, but the rest of the stuff is just to make this super delicious, fragrant broth. So I've got two cloves of garlic, and I'm just slicing them up just so they can kind of, I don't know, flavor the broth a little bit better. I feel like for some reason that they will if they're sliced up instead of just thrown in whole cloves. I saw this cool trick the other day, by the way. Somebody on YouTube did it. They sliced a garlic clove in half, and the skin just practically fell off which I think is so much easier than smashing it. So I tried it and it worked. You guys know I don't love working with fresh garlic because I can't, I don't like the smell on my hands and I've tried all the tricks, but I think I have like a really strong sense of smell because smells really do bother me and I can smell things like a mile away. But some recipes just call for it, you know? The, this soup in particular is not going to taste good with that pre-minced garlic because there is a difference in flavor. So I did go ahead and slice up the fresh, fresh garlic to work with. I'm also going ahead and just shredding up some ginger, about a tablespoon or so of fresh ginger. You don't have to grate it. You could always just like slice it up or something like that. But mine was fresh and it's just really easy to grate. And then lastly is some lemongrass. Don't skip this ingredient. It's very important. It has such a wonderful flavor. Now you can't chew lemongrass or eat it. It's very tough. So what you do is just whack it with the back of your knife until it kind of flattens out a little bit. And then I sliced mine up into like two inch sections. And then we're just gonna leave it in there to flavor the broth. Like I said, we're pulling all this stuff back out in a little while. But go ahead and put in your onion and your garlic. If you want some spice, this is a great time to add in like jalapenos or some sort of Thai chili or something like that. It'll flavor the broth really, really well. I opted not to do that because like I said, we are sick and with sore throats and stuff, I didn't want that much spice in here. I added my ginger in, my lemongrass, and then I'm adding in this red Thai curry paste. I know it seems like a lot because it was like a heaping tablespoon, but don't worry, this stuff is really not that spicy, so it's not going to make this dish hot. Now, if you can get your hands on some lime leaves, this is a great time to add those in to steep the broth as well. Unfortunately, in my area, that's not something that I can find, so I did not do that. I will make up for it in a little bit though and I'll show you how in case you also cannot find lime leaves. I think unless you go to like an Asian specialty store, it's probably not something a lot of us are going to be able to find. I will check my Asian uh, stores around me in the near future and let you guys know if I can find them there because that really will make a difference in how flavorful this is. So once this cooked on high for about three hours, you've got this beautiful rich broth that has a ton of flavor. It's just like making stock on your stovetop, but we're doing it in the slow cooker. So we can just kind of walk away and forget about it. It doesn't require constant babysitting. Then we're just gonna fish everything out, run it through a fine mesh strainer. I started with a slotted spoon, but that wasn't working, so I ran it through a fine mesh strainer. Once you've gotten all the bits out, you've got this beautiful, beautiful colored broth. Now we're gonna add everything else in. So starting off with the mushrooms, I just toss those guys right on in there. And then we have to add two cans of coconut milk. Now I will say it should be two cans of full fat coconut milk, but in my pantry I had one full fat and one light. So I'm working with what I have. It is better with two full fat cans of milk though. Just, just a heads up, just so you know. 
Um, but that's what I'm tossing in here and it just makes it so rich and creamy and delicious. It just gets velvety smooth. It's magical. I love the sweet and spicy and citric notes that are in this dish. They combine into something just absolutely beautiful at the end of the day. Now we're going to go ahead and continue to add in the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add in what I'm using for my spice now, which is that uh, chili garlic crunch. Uh, it goes by a couple of different names and there's a number of brands that make it. Um, if you're somebody who watches my channel, you know I buy this pretty often just from Walmart. It's by Heinz 57 and it's shallots and garlic and red chili flakes and oil and everything's fried and crispy and delicious and fantastic. So I added in a heaping tablespoon of that, which doesn't make it as hot as you would think. It's still a very low, low, low spice level. You can add in whatever you like or however much of that you like. If you want it super spicy, go for it. Now I'm going to add in my shrimp. You can choose your meat. You could do chicken. You could do tofu. You could do shrimp. I chose shrimp because that's what I typically see at the Thai restaurant. And I had a pound of shrimp and I just cut each one in half just to kind of stretch it out a little bit further. And then I put the lid back on and let everything cook for like 45 minutes just so the shrimp could cook and they could soak up some of that beautiful broth and delicious flavor. And of course some of their wonderful seafood flavor and the mushroom flavor would seep back into the broth. It just gives everybody a chance to kind of flavor everything and it's just divine. And then because I did not have the lime leaves, I went ahead and added the juice and the zest from one lime, which in my opinion was not enough. So if you're doing what I did, add in the juice of two limes and the zest of one lime. I think that'll get the job done. Then we're going to add in three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of fish sauce. I know it sounds like a lot of fish sauce, but it's not like a fishy flavor. It's really more of like an umami flavor. It's really rich and salty and delicious, and it helps kind of round the whole soup out. You know, we've got some spice, we've got our citrus, We've got our sweetness and now we need this. And if you notice, other than the chicken broth, which I made with Better Than Bouillon, we don't really have any salt in here. That fish sauce is gonna round everything out with a little bit of salty flavor. We're just gonna let this kind of steep for about 15 minutes while I prep everything else and then serve it. I like to serve this soup with a big scoop of rice in the center, just plain white rice. And then I sprinkle fresh sliced green onions and fresh chopped cilantro on top. I know not everyone likes cilantro, but it is so delicious in here, so give it a shot if you like cilantro. But this soup is definitely a favorite of mine. It's so wonderful and delicious, and it definitely did make me feel better. It's not a miracle cure, but I felt better after I ate it. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for being here and watching and supporting my channel. Please smash all of the buttons. I hope you're having a fantastic week, and I will see y'all back here soon with another video. Bye.